may be late, but we have now gotten to it. Welcome to Street Fight Challenge New Year's Edition. We got a stellar card here tonight after a long while of having no Street Fight Challenge at all last month. But this time we're going to make it up with an interesting card here tonight. First match we're going to be starting off with is a bit of a rivalry match between Rare Fruit and Melissa Ewing. As these two have kind of gotten into a little personal rivalry ever since... Well, Rareford attacked Melissa, and Melissa hasn't exactly earned much of a win lately, but I'm sure she'll be earning a victory here tonight. Following after that, we have an extreme rules match as these two look to go up against each other. The Shepard looking to finally take down Lane after Lane has been causing some trouble with the Shepard this past few weeks. Either way, this is going to be up under extreme rules matches, so nobody will complain about the frickin' cheating that goes on in this match, lane. But either way, this looks to be extremely brutal. And then after that, we have a Cruiserweight Championship match as Ryoko, who has earned himself a title opportunity to go up against the current YWL Cruiserweight Champion, El Rey Calavera. These two have faced each other before in the Steam Division for the YouTube Championship and XBWL, but this will be the second time they will face each other, but the first time in the YWL. These two look to have an outstanding match as Ryoko looks to capture his first championship here tonight. Will he succeed, or will El Rey Calavera continue his little reign as champion? After that, it is a return match as Fiametta, the psychopathic fem scout, is coming back and has made an open challenge and with McKay, an unstoppable force, has decided to accept the challenge. Will Fiametta rise or will Ruth McKay continue on with her rampage? Following up after that, we have the YWL Flight of Domination Championship into an extreme rules match as Gabriel has made the challenge to violence. Will the Flight of Domination Championship change hands here tonight, or will Violence's path of destruction continue? After that, we have the YWL Internet Championship on the line, as Mr. Wright has demanded for a title shot against Dallas B. Awesome after Dallas B. Awesome walked away during their match at, the house, at a house show one time. But will Dallas B. Awesome retain the title, or will Mr. Wright begin his perfect championship reign? Following up after that, we have the YWL Women's Championship on the line as Radagio Dazzam has cashed in her rematch clause against Briani Del Rey here at Street Fight Challenge New Year's. Will Radagio recapture the YWL Women's Championship, or will Briani Del Rey take down the Siren Queen? And then, we will be on the main event as Doomsday will be challenging Robo Man for the YouTube Wrestling League Championship, our world title here tonight. This is going to be something to say the least. Will Doomsday finally gain back the title that he lost at Winter Lockdown? Or will Roboman continue on his reign as world champion? I guess we're going to find out here tonight. But without further ado, let's start with the first match of the night. Let's get this match underway as we're starting off with Rare Fruit going up against Melissa Ewing. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a women's match set for one fall. Front of the ring first, from Equestria, she is the woman that claims that everything is hers. This is Rare Fruit. Rare Fruit coming into the Street Fight Challenge territory, her first Street Fight Challenge ever. Uh, this is a New Year's edition, so I guess this would be something. And she's going up against somebody that she's kind of had a little bit of a rivalry with up under the name Melissa Ewing. Ewing. Apparently it's pr pronounced Ewing. Nevertheless, this match is happening either way. These two have had a little bit of a head-butting scene. These two don't exactly like each other that much. For good reason, Rarefru ended up injuring Melissa one time. And her opponent, from Ponyville, she is Melissa Ewing! Melissa's first Street Fight Challenge as well, and she hasn't actually had much luck lately in the YWL, but I think she's about ready to turn this around tonight. As she goes up against Rarefruit, someone that she hasn't exactly been 
having a liking to lately. Of course, Rareford having at least a few victories over Melissa. I really think Melissa is about to turn that around. Melissa looks ready for this match, that's for sure. Rarefruit, not even... I don't think she's taking Melissa seriously. I think she's gonna pay for that. There's a forearm and another one. And went to the back and went for a slap but a punch to the face from Melissa. And Melissa going for a suplex but Rarefruit getting out of it. And oh, going for a neck snap. And a knee to the back. We gotta watch out for those knees that Rarefruit has. And she can practically like break a rib if she lands on you right with those knee strikes with the insult to injury and picking Melissa up and Melissa with an arm drag where if we're getting out of it and no oh, clothesline going to pick Melissa up and Melissa getting out of it and went for a kick but missed and rare fruit going for an Irish whip into the corner and oh Went to jump on her, but she missed. And what's going on here? No oh, slamming her right on the ground. Melissa now in control of this match. And going for a oh, next snap. And going after her leg. And going for a pin quickly. And oh great, not even a one count. Let's not forget Melissa also being a part of the wrestling organization called the NWOW, which is an all-women's show from what we understand. It isn't currently airing, but we do know that Melissa is probably one of the top stars there. She's also one of the top female superstars in CAW from what we remember. And she looks like she's about ready to go flying and motioning Rareford to get up. And going for it. Oh! A leg drop on the back of her head. And going for a pin. One, two, and only a two count. Melissa can't believe what happened. And. Oh, I think she's about to go for that knee driver. And there's the kick to the stomach. And oh, there's the knee. One, two, and Rare Fruit again kicks out. Melissa picking her up, and no! What an arm drag. No kick to the stomach from Melissa, as she picks Rarefer up by the hair again, and ooh! Oh, what's going on here? It's going for a wall springboard moonsault! Picking Rarefer up, and Rarefer with an uppercut. And what's going on here, and oh! Hurricane Rana. And pulling... Melissa from the ropes. Uh-oh. There's the insult to injury. There's a double knee driver. And picking Melissa up. And Melissa with the arm drag. Getting her to the ropes. What's she going to try to do here? No. Oh, jumping over her. And oh. Ooh. Bicycle kick. And picking Rarefer up. And there's a sling blade. And I think this might be it. One, two, Melissa with her first victory. What a victory here tonight. Let's take a look at some of the action. There's an elbow to the knee. What a match. Then there's a arm wrench. There's the leg drop on the rare fruit's head. That's a new move that we haven't seen Melissa do before. There's a knee driver. One, two. And there's the insult to injury from rare fruit. Here's your winner, Melissa Ewing. Melissa with an impressive victory here tonight, finally securing her first win here in the YWL after a long while. 
as we're moving on to the next match which is another rivalry match as the Shepard and Lane look to lock up it looks like Shepard got himself some new music ladies and gentlemen the following contest is an extreme rules match set for one fall parts of the ring first from dark side he is the leader of the flock this is the Shepard Shepard looking to get over at Lane after some issues that they've been having lately. Lane cheating to get his first victory against the Shepard. Since then, the Shepard has had a bit of a rivalry with Lane and is looking to try to take him down. Shepard blowing the lantern that he carries with him. It's removed all the fog. Again, Lane and Shepard have had their own fair share of matches lately. It looks like the Shepard is trying to get back at Lane. And here comes Lane, former XBWL Tag Team Champion and a former Great Lakes Wrestling World Champion. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, he is the member of the Yard Dogs. This is Lane! Yes, you heard that right. The Yard Dogs are back as they made a full-on return and a debut at a house show a few weeks back. They secured a victory over the Shepherd and the Inverted Shadow, which was probably a surprise for most people. The hardcore Japanese wrestler and the golden member of the Yard Dogs. Let's not forget, he's one of the rich boys, you can say, aside from Don Williamson. We have a feeling that Lane might be going after a championship after this. We saw the Shepherd just walking over. And Lane looking ready for this match. As we mentioned before, he's a former Great Lakes Wrestling World Champion. He held on to the title when he was still a part of the Yard Dogs. While Don Williamson and Mr. Fatality were tag team champions. They defeated Kidio at that time, I believe. It looks like these two are ready. Shepard staring down at Lane, and the bell is rung, and here we go. And Shepard with an immediate back suplex and a kick to the face. One for the stomp and miss, and Lane, Irish whip in the ropes, and oh, there's a back body drop. Lane picking the Shepherd up and a punch to the face. And Shepherd, Irish weapon to the ropes. Nothing. What's going on? Went for. Oh, I think he was about to go for a suplex, but Lane got out of it. And a clothesline out of the ring, and there they go. Lane now t telling Shepherd to get up. What's going on here? And oh! Ooh, elbow to the back of the head. Lane. Now in control of this match. Kick to the stomach and oh! Taking the Shepherd down. Picking him up. Punch to the face and ooh! Kick to the stomach and oh! Running over the lane! Shepherd now getting back in control of this match. And what is he going for here? And oh! Suplex right on the floor! Thank God for matting, otherwise he would be in trouble right there. And punches from Lane. Shepard grabbing Lane by the head and oh, right on the ri ring post. Excuse the hiccuping. And slamming Lane on the ring post again and oh, Lane getting out of the Shepard's grip and oh, and Lane getting the Shepard out of his grip and oh, punch to the face and oh, punch to the gut and there's a hard shot from Shepard picking Lane up. Another hard punch to the gut. Missed a punch. 
And what's going on here? No, back suplex on the floor again. I guess there's no doubt about it. Shepard just wants to hurt Lane. And uh-oh. What's he going for here? He's going for a choke slam on the floor. Oh, I don't think Lane's feeling too good after that. And, oh, there's a hard punch to the face. And a punch to the gut. And tossing Shepard back into the ring. And picking Shepard up. And, oh, blocked and a, and a kick to the stomach. And what's going on here? Shepard going for that new move. Oh, set out last ride. And going for a pin. One, two, and Lane managed to get out of that. Shepard now pissed, and there's an elbow drop. And going for another pin. One. Two and only a two count. Shepard wondering what he's got to do to take Lane down. There's a kick to the back. And oh, pummeling Lane. And then, oh! Right on the arm slam, right on the mat. Oh, and Shepard, he's going to go for a choke slam, but no, Lane's getting out of it. And uh oh. He's going for his DDT, planning Shepard face first right into the mat, and Lane going for a pin now. One, two, and only a two count. Lane wondering what he's got to do to take the Shepard down. What's going on here? Oh, come on, what's with the taunting? You shouldn't taunt in front of your opponent. And what's going on here? No stun gun. Lane just baited Shepard right there. And oh, there's one drop kick. And there's another drop kick. Shepard went for attack but missed. And oh, the crossbody. Picking the Shepard up. Lane going for that. No oh, close line. And going for a pin. One, two, and only a two count. Now Lane wondering what he's got to do to take the Shepard down. And, oh, boot to the face. Plain disrespect from Lane. And it seems Lane is looking for weapons now. Oh, he's got a ladder. That's a dangerous weapon right, right there as the Shepard is getting back up. And Lane, what the hell? Oh, he's going to hit the ladder? No! A tossing suplex from the Shepherd on the lane as the Shepherd just looks at Lane. And Lane trying to get back up. And what's going on here? And uh oh. Shepherd went for a choke slam, but Lane got out of it. And uh oh, close line. And he's got the ladder. And oh! To the knees and to the stomach. And again to the stomach, Lane trying to hurt the Shepherd. And going for a pin. One, two, three. Lane with a victory over the Shepherd yet again. There's a choke slam on the floor. Ah, that hurt. I guess the Shepherd lost his momentum after that last clothesline from Lane. There's a choke slam that he failed to connect as Lane got out of it. He went for another choke slam, but got out of it and turned it into a clothesline. Here's your winner, Lane. Lane with another impressive victory. He is now currently undefeated. Either way, that was an impressive match. As we move on to the next match, which I believe is the match between Ryoko and El Rey Calavera. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the YWL Cruiserweight Championship. These two have faced each other before in the Steam Division when they were going for the, for the YouTube Championship as El Rey defeated 
Ryoko. Even though Ryoko got the first fall, El Rey would come back with the next two falls. And there's Ryoko right there. Ryoko getting himself a title shot after winning a eight-man battle royal. This is going to be Ryoko's first YWL championship opportunity. As he makes a another victory. Ryoko with a fire. There's a reason why he's called the hybrid. Ryoko looks ready for this match. Ryoko walking down to the ring. And of course, Ryoko being part of the CIAW. The hybrid. Ryoko looks ready. Of course, as we mentioned before, Ryoko and El Rey have faced each other before for the YouTube Championship. El Rey winning the YouTube title during a ladder match. Ryoko deemed number one contender after he was close to the championship, or at least getting the title. Ryoko looking to secure a victory over El Rey this time to capture his first championship. And speaking upon the Skull King, here he comes. El Rey having a bit of a role lately. And the YWL capturing both the YWL and XPWL Cruiserweight Championship. Of course, he recently lost the Cruiserweight title to Jay Blizzard on an episode of Whirlwind or Slam Masters. Yeah, Whirlwind, actually. But I think he looks to retain the Cruiserweight Championship as it looks as if it got a bit of a makeover. It looks practically similar to the old... YWL Texas Championship, which was vacated and turned into the YWL Flight of Domination Championship. El Rey walking over to his opponent, who he has faced before. going to be an epic match to say the least. El Rey Calavera, former XBWL YouTube and Cruiserweight Champion, as we stated before, as he rolls into the ring. El Rey looking over at the crowd and glanced at Ryoko for a minute. He looks ready for this match. Ryoko with his first championship opportunity and El Rey with his first title defense. And it'll be against somebody he's faced before in the past. Introducing the challenger, representing the CIAW. This is the hybrid. This is... Ryoko! And his opponent, from Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico, he is the Skull King and the current YWL Cruiserweight Champion. This is El Rey Calivera! El Rey showing off the title here tonight as he looks to make a defense here tonight against somebody he's faced before in the past. As he hands the title to the ref, who shows the title to Ryoko. 
as the title is on the line. Ryoko looks ready. El Rey looks ready. Ring the bell, here we go. And here we go, we're gonna start off with some wrestling as El Rey grabbing the arm of Ryoko. And Ryoko turning around into a headlock. And El Rey pushing Ryoko to the ropes. And going underneath him, and there's a super kick. Getting out of the ring. Ryoko now taking this out of the ring. El Rey following him. And what the hell? Oh! Roll up. But you can't pin outside the ring. There's a kick to the face from Ryoko. Kick to the stomach. Forearm. There's a chop. Another forearm. Punch. Forearm. Forearm to the back. What's going on here? I think Ryoko just wants to take. El Rey to his limit and punching him right in the face. And picking up El Rey. We better not end this in a double count out or a count out in general. As El Rey finally gets back into the ring and there's a Northern Lights. It's the kick to the back but missed and Rayoko. Whoa! Dragon backbreaker. And what's going on here? No, went for a flatliner, but El Rey got out of it. And no, oh, into a clothesline to the corner. And El Rey, what's going on here? No, oh, leg drop. Oh, springboard leg drop right on the back of Ryoko's head. And El Rey get on the top rope. And Ryoko catching El Rey into a powerbomb. And oh my god, one. Only a one count. What agility from Ryoko right there. And there's a, oh, went for a super pain punch, but El Rey got out of it. And, oh, went for a body splash, but El Rey got out of it. And now you're swept into the corner, and, oh, forearm to El Rey. And El Rey slamming him right on the ground. Now El Rey going to the top rope. What's he going to try to do here? Oh, he's going to go for it early. Double rotation moonsault. Going for a pin. One, two, and only a two count from Ryoko. El Rey couldn't believe it. Went for a double rotation moonsault early. And Irish whip into the corner. And oh, drop kick. And what's going on here? And oh, foot stomp. Into the bottom corner. And El Rey moving Ryoko away from the ropes. And going for a pin. One and only one count that time. And the kick to the back. And oh, Ryoko doesn't seem too happy. And what's going on here? Going for inverted DDT. Ryoko now getting back in control. And there's a Superman punch. One. Two. And now Ray kicking out of that. Ryoko couldn't believe it. And oh, Ryoko getting on the top rope. What's he going to try to do here? And oh, went for an elbow, but missed. And oh, roll off from El Rey. One and only a one count. And Ryoko, what's he going to do here? Oh, small package. And Ryoko catching the leg. And oh, tripping El Rey. And, oh, into the ropes, though. Half crab, but into the ropes. Ugh. And going after the legs. Oh! Ryoko going after the leg, and. He gonna, what was he trying to do there? And again, after the legs. I think he's trying to go for a spear or something. And picking El Rey up, and El Rey with a chop breaker. And going for an arm branch, but into a sucker punch. What's going on here? And oh! Some kind of reverse suplex and go for a pin. And now Ray again with a kick out. And uh oh. Ryoko looks like he's about ready to go for a spear. 
Well, he hit it, and there's a spear. They're pulling him away from the ropes. What a spear from Ryoko right there. One, two, and El Rey with a kick out. Ryoko wondering what he's got to do to take El Rey up, out, and what the hell? Uh oh, he's going for the curb stomp! A curb stomp from Ryoko. That has to be it. One, two. Oh, El Rey barely kicking out of that. So close yet so far. Ryoko taunting as he picks up El Rey with, who gives him an arm drag. This match has been incredible so far. And El Rey putting Ryoko under the ropes and tossing him. And Ryoko getting back up. And what's going on here? And oh, getting off the lock. What's going on here? And oh, clothesline. It's another clothesline. El Rey with a punch, but missed. And oh, the jumping clothesline. Picking up El Rey, who gives him an uppercut for his troubles. And reverse fireman's carry, and it's a kick up. And what the hell is going on here? Going for it. Oh, power bomb, and holds it in. One, two, and only a two count from Ryoko. And El Rey pulling Ryoko away. What is he going to try to do here as he just stares at Ryoko? Went for a stomp, but missed. Kick to the stomach. And uh oh. Whoa, tornado DDT. From the Skull King. And going after Ryoko's head as he gives him an elbow for his troubles. And picking Ryoko up. And oh. He's going for the three amigos. Famous by the late great wrestler Eddie Guerrero. And El Rey with a third sur suplex. Oh, I think he's about to go for the double rotation moonsault again. He's turning around. Double rotation moonsault. And going for a pin. One, two, and only a two count. El Rey can't believe it. And moving El Rey. What's going on here? And oh, next snap. Oh, El Rey is going to the top rope. Is he going to try to go for another double rotation? Yes, he is. Double rotation. And oh, Ryoko got his knees up. Ryoko saving himself from the double rotation. But for a chop, but missed into a punch from El Rey. And oh, that was a rough bicycle kick. As Ryoko gets out of the ring. No Ray getting on the top rope. And Ryoko running back into the ring. And oh! Rough frog splash, but ran landing on Ryoko right there. As El Ray picks up Ryoko. And Ryoko countering into gut punch. And oh! A hard punch from El Ray. And oh, bicycle kick. El Rey having a hard time right now. And what is he going to try to do here? And oh, he's going to go try for the or the double rotation moonsault again. He's turning around. Double rotation. And El Rey he gets it done. One, two. El Rey retains. What a match. There's the first double rotation moonsault from El Rey Calavera. There's a Superman punch from Ryoko. These two brought their A game in this match. There was a reverse suplex. There's a spear. I thought that would have ended it. Actually, I thought this would have ended it either. There was a curb stomp. From Ryoko. Either way, El Rey with a victory. Here's your winner, and still the YWL Cruiserweight Champion, El Rey Calavera.
Another impressive victory from the Skull King as he defeated Ryoko yet again. As he retained the YWO Cruiserweight Championship. Now we move on to the next match. This is going to be an interesting match to say the least as we have a return match. Let's get this match underway. Oh, new entrance and that seems to be a new theme. The fires are here. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is a return match. Approaching the ring first, from the Badlands, she is the Psychopathic Femme Scout. This is... Fia Meta! And it seems that Fia Meta has gotten a new theme song since the last time we saw her, along with a new entrance. Of course, the other members of Brutality have left the YWL, Due to inactivity, as much as the other superstars here in the YWL. But it looks like Fiametta has chosen to stay here. Of course, I wouldn't blame her. She's been having a little bit of a fun time. Inaugural YWL Women's Level Up winner. Of course, she wasn't able to successfully cash in, but she at least won it at WrestleCade. If they say no title match, I think v Matter just wants to hurt someone. And that particular someone is by the name of Ruth McKay. Ruth McKay. This is going to be an interesting fight to say the least. And here comes Ruth. One of the tallest wrestlers that we have and one of the most well built. And her opponent, from Ponyville, she is the monster among ponies, Ruth McKay! Ruth has been dominant here in the YWL lately, destroying Flint in her in-ring debut. Of course, she lost her second match to Rainbine, even though her hand was on the ropes. I don't think she's gotten over that, though, but I think after this match, she looks to go after... Rainbine Dash, as we were told. Ruth's friend Tracy wasn't exactly happy about that match either, finding out that she was holding on to the ropes. But I don't think that matters right now, as Fia Meta and Ruth look to take each other down. Here we go. Ring the bell, here we go. And Ruth pushing Fia Meta. And Fia Meta with a kick to the stomach and a forearm went for another kick but missed. And Ruth pushing her down to the ground. A stomp. Another stomp but Fia Meta got out of it and oh! Various slaps into the corner and oh! Double knee strike. And Ruth with a boot to the face. Ruth trying to take down the psychopathic Fem Scout. And went for a punch, but Fia Meta with a punch of her own. And going for a variety of kicks. Went for another slap, but Ruth turning into a kick to the stomach and knocking her down. Let's hope that Ruth doesn't try to use that freaking choke, choke hold that she did like she did the Flint in her in-ring debut. Knocking her out. That bear hug. It's quite dangerous. I mean, you've seen Vincent Strongman do that. And he's basically knocked everybody out. He's knocked Ronald out with that move several times. But couldn't get the job done. At December of Desolation. And a punch out of the ring. And Ruth following Fiametta out of the ring. Ruth trying to make a name for herself here in the YWL. She's a... Current member of the NWLW along with Melissa Ewing. Ewing. Sorry. And Fiametta picking this giant up. And. Ooh! 
kick right to the chest, similar to the freaking kicks that Luigi does, I believe. And Ruth with trying to take Fiametta's arm into Fiametta with a bicycle like kick. And picking Ruth up, and Ruth with a clothesline. Ruth trying to destroy Fiametta. What's going on? No! And Ruth picking Fiametta up, and oh, she looks like she's gonna go for the Yokosaka cutter, and whoa! Fiametta rolling up! And going for a pin! One and only a one count. And Ruth with an Irish whip into the corner and knocking Fiametta down. And, oh, shoulder claw. Trying to wear down Fiametta. And knocking her down. Picking her up. But Fiametta with an arm drag. And for a boot to the face, but missed. What's going on here? Ruth with a tossing suplex. No, kick to the stomach. And oh, stalling butterfly suplex. And down she goes. Ruth basically demolishing Fiametta. And taunting. Ruth is all over her. And another shoulder claw. Fiametta trying to get out of it, and oh! And Ruth picking her up. And uh oh! The chokehold! That freaking bear hug! Fiametta in trouble! Is she gonna get out of it or is she gonna pass out? No! Fiametta's getting out of it! Fiametta was in trouble there! And oh! Into the corner, and oh! Elbow from Fiametta! And uh oh! Heart attack! That flatliner! She calls it the heart attack. And we're going for one, two, and Ruth kicking out. Not enough damage has been displayed to Ruth. And oh, stomp on the Ruth, and oh, a rear naked chin lock trying to make her submit. And Ruth managing to break out of it. Kick to the stomach. No, another, went for another kick, but Ruth caught on her. And into Boston Crab. Ruth, uh, Ruth trying to make Fiametta submit now. And no. Oh, Fiametta getting out of it. What's going on here? And no. Oh, inverted to reverse DDT. And Fiametta going after Ruth McKay's arm, trying to wear it down. The best thing to do with a woman of her size is to try to wear her down. Trying to get her tired out. But I don't think Ruth is going to be getting tired anytime soon as she breaks out. Oh, hard punch to the stomach. And oh. What's going on here? And oh, Ruth w went for a running power slam but a reverse DDT from Fiametta. And she goes for a pin. One, only a one count. And Fiametta, she's gonna go onto the top rope. What's she gonna do here? And oh, 180. And oh, she's going for an arm bar. She's gonna try to make Ruth tap out. Ruth getting out of it though. Punches to the face. And what the old oh, spine buster! Ruth now taunting again. And no, oh, looks like we're about to see her fly. What is she gonna do here? Oh, knee strike! And Ruth looks like she's getting tired. Going for a pin now. One, two, and Fia Meta with a kick out. And oh, elbow! Being met up with an elbow to her stomach and oh tossing Ruth out of the ring. I don't believe this is no disqualification. Nope, it isn't. 
Oh, went for a kick, but into an elbow from Roth. And oh, went for a drop kick, but missed. And oh, Roth is trying to pull Fiamina out of the ring. And picking her back up. And now tossing her back into the ring. Oh, slamming her on the ring apron. The hardest part of the ring. And Ruth gonna try to take Fiametta down and uh oh. She's got her in position. Yokosaka cutter. And that's gotta hurt. And looks like she's about to get the victory. One. Only a one? Well, two count that uh, apparently that's what the ref said, but only a one count, Jesus Christ, and, oh, Roth is about to go for the running power slam, and, oh, too close to the ropes, and turning Fiametta around, picking her up, and, oh, jawbreaker from Fiametta, right for a drop kick, and, oh, forearms, Fiametta with the speed right here, and, oh, Ruth taking her down. And Irish whip into the corner from Fiametta, and there's a forearm. And, oh, pulling her into the ropes. Oh, what's going on? One, two, and oh, Fiametta frustrated. Oh, went for a Mongolian chop, but Fiametta getting out of it and kicking her way. Out Kinda out of her grip and picking Ruth up and Ruth with a back body drop. Went for a kick to the face, but into a leg sweep. What's going on here? Oh, went for a kick but missed. And, oh, uppercut. What's going on here? And oh! Being meta tossing Ruth out of the ring. No, uh oh I think I know what she's about to do here. Kick to the stomach and going for a power bomb. No, oh! power bomb right under the ring apron. And I think Roth is out. And Fiametta, I think she's trying to get onto the ropes and top up rope. What a fight this is happening! And oh. Uppercut from Fiametta. Went for a drop kick but missed. Wait, wait, what the hell? The lights blacked out and oh, Fiametta! Using some tricks. And oh! Kick to the face. And oh, went for an elbow but missed. And Fiametta with an Irish whip. And oh! Uh oh. What's Roth going to try to do here? And oh! It's a roll up again! And go for a pin! One! Two! And now Roth's going for a pin! And only a two count yet again. And oh! What's going to try to do here? And uh oh! Tossing her on the ropes! Trying to destroy the psychopathic Fem Scout! And only a two count yet again. Roth is trying to w is wondering what she's got to do to take the psychopathic fem scout down. As she just stares at Fiametta. Uh oh. She's gonna go for a running power slam. No, an elbow. Fiametta getting out of that. No. What the punches? Uh, grabbing Fiametta and bashing her head on the turnbuckle. Seven, eight, nine, ten. The roof is trying to destroy Fiametta. Oh! What's going on here? And uh oh! Gorilla Press! Oh boy. And oh, the punches to her face. 
Wolf's getting tired. And picking up Fiametta. But turning around and uh oh. This is famous by Edward. Oh, reverse choke slam. And going for a one it one arm pin. One, two. And talk about humiliation right there. And nevertheless, Ruth with an impressive victory here tonight. I thought that was it right there. But Fiametta a lot more durable than we thought she was. Fiametta, what a great return, but she didn't get the victory. And nevertheless, that was a great match. There was a Yoko Saka cutter. Ruth taking down Fiametta, practically mauling her, even though Fiametta got a few decent attacks on her. Here is your winner, Ruth McKay. Ruthless aggression is rampaging through the YWL here tonight. But nevertheless, we're going to be moving on to our next match. The next few matches will be title matches from what I remember, as we're going to be starting off with the Flight of Domination Championship. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it's for the YWL Flight of Domination Championship. This is going to be an interesting match to say the least. These two have faced each other before for the Super Heavyweight Championship, surprisingly. Even though Gabriel is in the Super Heavyweight division, that didn't stop him from challenging Violence for the title. Here's Gabriel, the small warrior that slams the Giants. Even though he suffered a minor concussion, he looks to take the title away from Violence either way. We had a talk with him and he said that he's not going to let a concussion stop him from going after the Flight of Domination Championship. Of course, Gabriel surviving up until he lost to MLP Steve via so many stunners. And when Steve beat Vangelico, a lot of people weren't exactly happy about it, and Violence basically asked for the match against Steve, which ended up with Steve getting pile driver off the ring apron twice. Well, that was a sight to see, to say the least. Gabriel, I don't think he cares about the concussion. I think he just cares about wanting to take the title away from... Violence. The king of the super heavyweights and speak of the devil and he shall appear. Violence, the flight of Domination Champion who's been on a tear lately with the title. A two-time Flight of Domination Champion, the former XPWL Super Heavyweight, International, and World Champion. We have a lot of Triple Crown Champions in the XPWL, Texan Gamer, Nick Butcher, and yes, Violence. But the only Grand Slam Champion there is Luigi who had a impressive victory against Regime Zul at a house show one time. Of course, the house show was filled with amazing moments and surprising moments. One of them being Violence's victory over Steve to regain the Flight of Domination Championship, which was given a new look to match for the Domination part of the name. It looks like Violence is happy to carry that new look of the title. Seven foot four, over 400 pounds. One of the tallest wrestlers that we have in the YWL. In the men's division. The king of the super heavyweights. Walking Armageddon. This is 
going to be an interesting fight to say the least between these two that have faced each other before. Let's introduce the opponents. Introducing the challenger from Chroma City. He is the small warrior that slams the giants. He is Gabriel the Destroyer. And his opponent, also from Chroma City, he is Walking Armageddon, Ultimate Orcor, the king of the super heavyweights. He is the Flight of Domination Champion, but his namesake simply goes by... VIOLENCE! And Violence carrying that championship on his shoulder. These two have had incredible battles before. Gabriel, a former super heavyweight world champion, Violence has held practically a lot of titles, and he has finally gotten a title here in the YWL. Bella's wrong, here we go, let's do this, and immediately went for a lariat, but no! Oh, Gabriel with a clothesline out of the ring after a dodge from a clothesline from Violence. And Gabriel, what's he gonna do here? No, oh, drop kick! to violence from the top rope to the ground. Gabriel needs to be a little wary about his concussion though. I mean, it's still there, it's just a minor concussion. And uh oh, clothesline. And what's going on here? No oh, slam. Violence now trying to wear down. The destroyer. Oh! A knee from Gabriel. And picking Violence up. Who gives a shoulder tackle after reversal. And slamming his arm right in the mat. Oh, great. He's taunting. This is one thing that you shouldn't do. It's taunt. And a clothesline out of the ring. And there goes Gabriel. And Violence picking him up. Punch to the face from from Gabriel, and another one from Violence, and another one from Gabriel. What's going on here? And oh, Violence tossing Gabriel, tossing Gabriel like the rag doll. What's going on? Oh, slamming him right on the ground. This is extreme rules, by the way. Oh, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, Violence! Oh. Choke slam on the floor. You gotta be wary about that concussion and uh oh, violence. He's going for a, oh, went for a lariat, but into a uh, kick and oh, a big boo from Gabriel. And violence, oh, grabbing Gabriel by the hair or horns and Gabriel getting out of it. That hurt. What's going on here? Oh, punch the face. What's going on here? Oh, we're going for a burn vertebraker. Oh, vertebraker on the floor. A vertebraker on the floor, and Gabriel rolling him into the ring. Trying to break his freaking neck. And taunting, this can cost you. But I don't think the vertebrae. That matters with the vertebraker. One. Only a one? That was on the floor. That could have been at least a two, maybe even a three. There's an uppercut from Gabriel. And oh, shoulder tackle from Violence. And oh, he's pissed. Beating the ever-living crap out of his head. Trying to make that concussion worse. And going for a shoulder claw. And oh, trying to make Gabriel tap out or something. And into a leg sweep. Gabriel with a kick to the face. Oh, I'm getting out of the ring. Violence getting up and following after him. What is Gabriel trying to do? I Oh, I think he's gonna look for a weapon. No, but Violence is gonna stop him. An elbow from Gabriel and oh Gabriel's gonna go oh, get slammed by Violence and onto the floor. Oh jeez. And uh oh he's going for it again and oh! He's looking at a choke slam on the ground. 
He's probably going to make that concussion worse. I went for a chop and missed. And no oh, punch to the face from Violence. And oh, clothesline right on the ring apron. And picking him up. And a stomp. That hurt. And picking Gabriel up. And oh, right on the corner of the announce table. Uh oh. No. Oh, punching him down to the ground. And Violence picking. Gabriel up, and Gabriel with a clothesline! What's going on here? Oh, turn him around, and... Oh, uh, he's going for it! Oh! Slamming him on the ground, all practically near the frickin' stairs, and oh boy, he's got a ladder. What's going on here, and oh, going for the ladder! Oh! The back of his head just went on the ladder, and Gabriel, what is he going to try to do here? And oh, into an elbow from Violence. I think he was about to go for the vertebraker. And oh, into the corner. Gabriel following him. Kick to the stomach from Violence, and uh oh, he's got him again. Oh, what a choke slam to the floor and oh I think he's about to go for that lariat there's the lariat oh if his concussion wasn't bad enough I think he made him made him made him worse and throwing Gabriel back into the ring I think he's about to go for the pin violence tearing Gabriel apart and uh oh he's going to go for it again in Oh, what for Laria, but into reversal. And Gabriel picking Violance up. And Violance with an oh German suplex. And taunting. Is this really visible? No. Oh, forearm. Another one. And no. Oh. Crucifix. And picking Gabriel up, but into a leg sweep. And Gabriel, what is he going to try to do now? Oh, no. Violence pushing him. And picking Gabriel up. And uh-oh. He's going for it. Oh, choke slam. I think he's out. One, two, and oh. Gabriel's not done. Oh, but I think this will make it over. Violent set it up, and there's the Lariat. One, two. Violence retains. Gabriel hasn't moved. I think that concussion has gotten worse. Oh! Those choke slams on the floor. I'm surprised we didn't get to see the vertebraker on the floor. But I think those choke slams are what made it worse. And that was the setup to the choke slam. Here's your winner, and still the flight of Domination Champion, Violence. That match was something to say the least as Violence has taken down Gabriel the Destroyer to retain the title. But we're going to have to check on Gabriel to see how well he's doing. Other than that, we're moving on to the next match, which is the YWL Internet Championship match between Mr. Wright and Dallas B. Awesome. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match for the YWL Internet Championship. I'm sure these two have locked up before somewhere in the XBWL. As Mr. Wright was a former perfect champion that he created himself. Mr. Wright has made a name for himself here in the YWL as well. Winning a lot of matches, and Fort Norris finally getting his first championship opportunity. The reason he's actually getting this championship opportunity is because he successfully beaten 
Dallas Be Awesome be a count out at a house show one time. Because apparently Dallas Be Awesome didn't want to face Mr. Wright or something. And Mr. Wright basically demanded for this match, and he demanded it to be a Falls Count Anywhere match. So he can take down Dallas Be Awesome. Of course, Mr. Wright hasn't exactly won a title since 2K18. So that was like two years ago. And Dallas B. Awesome winning the YWL Internet Championship along with the XBWL Tag Titles this year. And here comes the toughest SOB that we have in the YWL and XBWL. Dallas B. Awesome not exactly happy for the fact that he's got to face Mr. Wright here tonight. In fact, I'm sure he hates Mr. Wright more than anything. I don't even know if these two have met before. I'm sure they have. Both are former champions. Mr. Wright being a former perfect champion and Dallas B. Awesome being a former XPWL International and Tag Team Champion and current YWL Internet Champion. Of course, Dallas doesn't want to face Mr. Wright, I'm assuming. Nevertheless, he's going to be facing him here tonight. As the Internet Championship is on the line. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota. He is ravishingly perfect. This is Mr. Wright. And his opponent from Dallas, Texas. He is XPWL's answer for birth control and is the YWL Internet Champion. He is Dallas B. Awesome! Dallas B. holding the championship above his head as he goes to defend the title here tonight against Mr. Wright. Former XPWL Perfect Champion about to get his first title that isn't the Perfect Championship. Though I imagine he'll probably be bringing it back sometime if he ever returns to the main roster in XPWL. And nevertheless, we're going to move on here tonight. Bell has rung. And a drop kick from Mr. Wright immediately taking him down. A kick to the back. And elbow drop. Mr. Wright trying to... No! Earn a championship after so long and not having one. And a punch from Dallas B and reverse fireman's carry. And Mr. Wright was in control of this, but Dallas is now taking him down. And going for an Irish whip into the corner. And oh, went for a clothesline, but Mr. Wright got out of it. No! Some kind of back body drop. And a rear naked chin lock from Mr. Wright and ooh, slamming his head right on the mat and ooh the punch the face and a ooh another punch from Dallas B as he Irish whips him to the ropes and oh whip for a knee but missed and Goes underneath, went for another kick. But Mr. Wright getting out of it. No. Uh oh, oh, knee buster. Remember, Dallas has had, had, had problems with his knees in the past. Those heavy knee braces aren't exactly for show. He's had knee problems before, and uh oh. Next snap. Mr. Wright with the next snap, and oh. Kick to the knee from Dallas. And oh. Reverse judo throw. What's going on here? Russian leg sweep. And stomp on the Dallas. And uh oh. What's Mr. Wright going to do here? Oh, monkey flip. The agility from Mr. Wright. 
And oh, a knee to the face on Dallas B. Awesome. Stomp onto the knee. No. He's going for it again. Oh, next snap. And going for a pin. One, two, and Dallas kicking out. Mr. Wright wondering how did he kick out of that. And oh, he's going for that fisherman suplex. And oh, he's going for it. And oh, Dallas getting out of it. And oh, grabbing Mr. Wright. Oh, I think he's about to go for that stun gun. He is. Lights out, Jackass. Elijah and Dallas going for a pin. One, two, and Mr. Wright kicking out. A lights out, Jackass just wasn't good enough. And Dallas B taunting. And oh, going for the punches to the face. And going for an Irish whip to the ropes. Mr. Ray countered and oh, using that knee. And Dallas picking up Mr. Wright. Oh, he's about to go for that pile driver. A pile drive from, da from Dallas B as he picks him up. And oh, I think he's about to go for another stun gun. Puts him under the ropes. Yes, he is. Lights out, jackass. Dallas B going for the pin one two and Mr. Ray kicks out again Dallas now wondering what he's got to do to put Mr. Wright down and go for the middle finger elbow drop and picking Mr. Wright up going for an Irish whip into the corner and no whip for a clothesline but missed what's going on here Mr. Wright going for a neck breaker Taunting, and pulling him away from the ropes. No, he's picking him up. Oh. Oh, kick, kick to the stomach. What's going on here? And Mr. Wright going for a suplex. Going for a clothesline, but missed a little bit ago. Bit ago. And he went for a stomp under the arm. Picking, oh, Dallas up. And Dallas getting out of it and a stomp to the arm. Picking Mr. Right up as he's going for another pile driver and pile driver. That has to hurt. One, two, and Mr. Right again refusing to stay down. Dallas be awesome when he's wondering what he's got to do to put him down, and there's an ace crusher. And going for a pin. One, two, and Mr. Wright again! Get, get out! Dallas can't believe it. And Mr. Wright kicked to the stomach and all. Oh, I think he was about to go for a next snap, but Irish weapon in the corner, and there's a clothesline to the corner. And picking Mr. Wright up. Went for a punch, but Mr. Wright with a counter, and there's a clothesline out of the ring. Picking Dallas up. And, oh, he thinks he's about to go for a slam, but Dallas getting out of that. Uh oh, he's going for a pile driver on the floor. If that doesn't put him down, I don't know what will. One, two. Dallas B. Awesome retains the title. After so many pile drivers and so many loudges, it's one singular stunner. Dallas B. Austin retained the title. I was wary about his knee. After that knee buster. I was going for a fisherman suplex, but it got countered, and then he went for a pile driver. And there was a stunner right there. Dallas B. retained the title. Here is your winner, and still the YWL Internet Champion, Dallas B. Awesome! Despite the fact that he didn't want this match, he finally ended up doing it, and he ended up retaining the title.
I guess Mr. Ray was a bit cocky, but we're moving on to the next match, which is the YWL Women's Championship match between Radagio Dazm and Briani Del Rey. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the YWL Women's Championship. And this match is going to be interesting to say the least, as this lady is going after the women's title again. Let's not forget that Rodagio Dazm won the women's championship from Hannah Farrell at, I believe, Winter Lockdown. And then she eventually lost it to Briani Del Rey. But I think she looks to take the title back from Briani Del Rey. Looking to become the second woman in the YWL to hold the women's championship two times. Of course, she's the current XPWL Women's Champion. Her sisters, Kyria Case, winning the Hardcore Championship. And Sonika Duskin, recently winning the Shooting Star Championship. So now, they don't just only rule the YWL, since Kyria and Sonika are the current YWL Women's Tag Team Champions. But they also rule the Women's Division in the XPWL. So they practically rule the wrestling industries. The only thing that they haven't accomplished is going after the CAW titles, but I don't know if they will be going to CAW. I guess we're gonna have to find out. Radaggio, she's looking at that camera. I think she's messaging Chad, telling her that she's gonna win the championship back. For her king, Adagio is ready for this match to say the least. We do know that Shadow is watching this. We do know that for sure. And here comes the women's champion. The current YWO women's champion. going to be interesting to say the least beating cynical flutter retain eh, recapturing the women's title and it looks like she's going to try to hold on to it for a while i guess we're going to have to see how well briani does in this match for a second time against radagio dasm briani the first ever two-time women's champion she's beating some of the best from XBWL and YWL. Only thing that she hasn't done is go after the CAW titles as well. And she has yet to actually win a championship in the XBWL, but that's besides the point. Well, let's go over to the ring announcer to announce the fighters. Introducing the challenger from Equestria, she is the Siren Queen. This is Rodagio Dazzum! And her opponent, from the pristine shores of Costa Rica, she is the YWL Women's Champion. This is Briani Del Rey. A young female wrestler to ever hold the YWL Women's title. Well, again, there's also Alex. But Alex was the one that beat Briani Del Rey the first time. Rodagio Dazm looks to beat her. And the title is up for grasp. Let's get to this match. Adagio's ready. Briani's ready. Ref, ring the goddamn bell, and here we go. And what's going on here? Radagio slamming Briani right on the ground. And a kick to the face. And, oh, trying to stretch her arm out. Briani in trouble already. And... Picking Briani up, and Briani with an uppercut. And Rodaggio pushing her to the ropes. And referee gonna break the hold. And Briani, oh, kick from Rodaggio. And oh, neck breaker. Rodaggio in control of this match. Rear naked chin lock. 
as she's trying to reach into Rihanna's neck and yelling at her, you think you're so strong now? Nardaggio moving Briani. What's she going to try to do here? Whoa, monkey flip! That hurt. And, oh, went for a punch, but Briani with a counter. And an Irish whip right in the ropes. And getting out of another punch from Rodaggio and Briani with a leg sweep and then went for a kick, but missed. And no! Oh! Stun gun. Rodaggio got a stun gun for her troubles. And what's going on here? No backstabber! That hurts. And no, oh, went for a kick, but a leg sweep from Rodaggio. And, whoa. Doing push ups. Taunting at Briani. That's the worst thing that you can do to the women's champion. And Rodaggio with an Irish whip into the corner. And, oh, went for a monkey flip, but missed. And, oh, fireman's carry position. And what's going on here? And, uh oh, Briani with a power bomb. Oh! Out of the ring. Oh. Oh, went for a kick, but into a leg sweep. Oh, jeez. The punch to the stomach from Briani. That was a power bomb out of the ring. Is Radaggio okay? I better hope so. And Irish whip into the corner again. Kick to the stomach, and oh, Meteora! That was a Meteora, and oh, Rodaggio, row, turning her and going for that knee! A knee strike from Rodaggio. One, two, and Briani kicking out. It's going to take a lot more to take Briani down. Rodaggio knows that for sure. And what's going on here? And oh, using those heels with a to stomp her no forearm and oh elbow strikes from Briani no what's going on here no Irish whip into the ropes jumping over her going under her and I went for a clothesline and oh slamming her to the ground Adagio getting back in action and going on the top rope motioning Briani to get up What's going on here? Went for a crossbody at the strength of Briani, slamming her after catching her. Wow, Briani, Jesus Christ. And oh, elbow from Rodaggio into forearm. What's going on here? And oh, knee strike. Those knees. And only a two count. Rodaggio's got to do a little bit more damage. Briani is a lot tougher than you think, and some people would think, and into a fireman's carry, and oh, stun gun! And maybe it was the snake eyes, I don't know. But Rodaggio measuring Briani, and uh oh, cartwheel, and the knee strike again! And going for a pin. One, two, and Briani Del Rey kicking out again. Rodaggio frustrated. Wondering what she's got to do to take Briani down. And, oh, going to try to bend her like a pretzel. And Briani in trouble now. Rodaggio just, jeez. And Briani getting out of it with an elbow. And oh, punch to the face from Rodaggio. No, another knee strike. And oh, no oh, back neck breaker. And go for a rear naked chin lock again. Rodaggio is not going to be pulling any punches here tonight. She wants her title back and she wants it badly. And oh, pulling her arm yet again. Rodaggio is placing all the punches she can. And she's going for that oh, cartwheel. Knee strike! I think that might be it. One, two. No, so close! 
Rodaggio wondering how she managed to kick out of that. No. Again, pulling her arm. I think she's trying to get her an arm injury or something. And oh. Picking Briani up. And Briani with an uppercut. And what's going on here? No. Slamming her face first onto the ground. These two are pulling all the punches here tonight. And Briani now trying to get back at her. Oh, there's a clothesline. There's another clothesline and a drop kick from Briani. And picking Rodasio up and then oh, belly to belly. And Briani going to go to the top rope. I think she's going to try to take down Rodasio again. And oh, drop kick by Rodasio getting out of it. Oh, what's going on here? And picking her up, but Rihanna getting out of that. A forearm shot, a no knee strike. One, two. Rihanna Del Rey has lost her women's title. Rodaggio is now a two time women's champion. What a match. There's a running Meteora. From Rodaggio. And there was the first cartwheel knee. No, I believe that's the second. And that only led to a two count. And there was a, another knee strike. But Briani managed to get up from that. And there's the. At least the last one on for the one of the cartwheel knee strikes but that didn't get the job done there was a belly to belly but it ended with another knee strike from Rodasio here's your winner and the new YWL women's champion Rodasio Dazzum Rodasio Dazzum is back on top the YWL women's division now belongs in the hands of the symphony What a match. Rihanna storming up the ramp. But nevertheless, we're going to be moving on to the next match, which is our main event. And that is for the YWL world title. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is the main event of the evening. It is for the YouTube Wrestling League World Heavyweight Championship. This is going to be interesting to say the least. As we know who this is. A former YouTube Wrestling League World Champion. YWL World Champion. You get what I mean. Doomsday. One of the most destructive wrestlers that we ever seen. Even though he hasn't exactly been doing well in XBWL. YWL, he's won the world title. And it looks like he wants to get it back as he cashed in his rematch clause. And Doomsday looks ready. Doomsday just staring at everyone. Doomsday looks like he's ready for this match as he's walking down the ramp. As we say, all will suffer at the hands of Doomsday. We mean it. This guy is a force to be reckoned with. Practically one of the top stars in the YWL. As he's had so many wins. Yet again, he has had his fair share of losses here in the YWL. But I don't think that matters. He just wants to hurt someone, and that particular someone is the world champion, Robroman, who's won it twice after he lost it the first time to Rockadile. But, but I have a feeling that that title opportunity is still out there for Rockadile. I think he just wants to earn it right now. 
But I don't think that matters right now as Roboman and Doomsday are going to be facing each other here tonight. And there is Roboman. This is going to be something to say the least. And he's riding on his motorcycle here tonight. That entrance is amazing to say the least. The prototype Terminator riding around in a motorcycle. And it looks like he's about ready to take down Doomsday like he did back in Winter Lockdown along with Drake Andrews at that match as well. Of course, Drake Andrews being released from the YWL for being too violent, his crimes and all that stuff. And he also didn't want to be there anymore after so many losses. So you can say that he's whiny. But either way, Drake's gone. And we're moving on to this match. Let's introduce the fighters. Introducing the challenger, standing over seven feet tall. He is the hockey mask wearing psycho, and all will suffer at the hands of Doomsday. And his opponent, from another time, he is the prototype Terminator and the current YWL World Heavyweight Champion. This is... Roboman! And Roboman looks ready here tonight. The crowd is behind him, that's for sure. And Roboman giving the title to ref. And the ref showing Doomsday. Doomsday is ready for his rematch against Roboman. These two haven't faced each other since last month at Winter Lockdown when Roboman took the world title from Doomsday. Ring the bell, here we go, and Doomsday immediately with a spear. Taking down Roboman. And Roboman with a punch. And going for a clothesline, but missed. And another spear again from Doomsday. Those spears are wicked, hard, and destructive to say the least. And a knee to Roboman from Doomsday. And remember, these two have faced each other one-on-one -on -one before. In fact, the last time these two faced each other one-on-one -on -one was in XPWL when Doomsday made his return. And Rob picking Doomsday up and an uppercut from Doomsday. And tried to take Rob down but couldn't. And an uppercut from Doomsday. And oh, gut wrench from Roboman. And a kick to the back and picking Doomsday up. And oh, a headbutt onto the mask. And Doomsday with a shoulder tackle. And Doomsday picking Rob up and an arm drag. A punch from Rob and slamming his head in the mat. And going for a pin. Not even a one count. And Rob, oh, punch from Doomsday and Doomsday clothesline in the corner and Rob pushing him away and a whip for a clothesline but oh that was rough and Rob what is he going for here no senton or whatever it was called I'm sorry fans but no shoulder tackle and oh oh going after doomsday's arm and Rob oh going for inverted full Nelson and pinning him right then and there, one. And Doomsday only kicking out at one. That was really something. And no, oh, Rob picking him up, and he's going for the no oh! package pile driver. And Rob pulling Doomsday away from the ropes. Smart strategy, one. Two and only a two count. Rob couldn't believe that. And going after Doomsday's leg. 
Trying to make sure that Doomsday can't walk by going after his legs. Or at least can't get him into certain positions. Like what's going to be happening now? He's setting him up. In a powerbomb position. Sit out powerbomb. That's got to hurt. And pulling Rob away from the ropes. And going for a pin. Ref out of position and not even a one count. Doomsday can't believe it. He's not used to having people kid at, kick out at not even one from a sit-out powerbomb, but I think this is going to do it right here as Doomsday sets him up, up, over, and down. Jackhammer slam. One, two, and Rob kicking out only at two. And Doomsday taunting. Stomp on the Rob. And picking him up a bit. And oh! Slamming him down to the ground. Picking him up fully. What's going on here? Oh! Some kind of Kimura lock. Trying to make Rob tap out. But Rob is getting out of it. And two punches and a headbutt. And a clothesline. But Doomsday hung him up at the ropes. Going on here, Doomsday. Oh, knee strike! Doomsday taking down Rob with that knee. And Rob, Fireman's carry reversal. And a stomp from Rob as he picks Doomsday up. And Doomsday with a leg sweep. Another stomp from Doomsday. And kneeling down. And uh, oh, slamming his face right onto the mat. And picking Rob up. And going for Oh, going for a choke bomb, but no. Oh, Rob. Breaking the eyes and going for it. Oh, fall away slam. Oh, I think he's about to go for it again. The package pile driver. And hits it. No, going for the pin. One, two, and Rob with the victory here tonight. What a match. Starting off with a replay from the opening match. Two spears. There's an inverted full Nelson. Going for the pin right then and there. But only a one count from that. There was a set out powerbomb that didn't even make it to one. And then there was the up over and down jackhammer slam. That was surely something. Lifting nearly over a thousand pounds. Here is your winner and still the YWL World Heavyweight Champion, Robro Man. Rob with impressive victory. What a match. Thank you all for watching the YWL here tonight. This is Street Fight New Year's. We know we were late, but hopefully this made up for it. Either way, hope you enjoyed tonight, and we will see you all next time. See ya.